This video was sponsored by Azul. What's going on everyone? This is Super from TechSmartDeals.com and this video is an unboxing, setup, and full review of the new Azul Access Plus Fanless Windows 10 Mini PC Stick. Now before we get started with the unboxing, let's go over the Azul Access Plus specifications. Its operating system is Windows 10 and it's a full authentic version of Windows. The processor is an Intel Atom Cherry Trail T3 Z8300 which is a quad core 1.84 GHz processor. The graphics processing unit is an 8th generation Intel HD graphics card. The RAM is up to 4 GB of DDR3L and is also a base model that's cheaper and has a 2 GB RAM. Both models come with 32 gigabytes of internal storage and they're expandable up to 128 gigabytes via micro SD card. And you can also extend it using uh, two USB ports. One is a USB 3.0 port and the other is a USB 2.0 port. It also has dual band Wi-Fi, which is 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks. And it also has an external Wi-Fi antenna. And the Azul Access Plus is still the world's only PC stick that features an Ethernet port for wired connections. So the powerful Intel processor and graphics card as well as the 4GB of RAM make the Azul Access Plus an excellent choice. We're just taking a look at the outside of the packaging. You can see the Windows 10 logos and the Intel. So let's go ahead and rip the packaging off and get this unboxing started. I just sped through this so it would be a lot easier to get through this portion of the video. But I just carefully took it out of the box and the packaging off of it. And here's the actual PC stick itself. As you can see, it's about twice the size of a fire stick. Very well made device. If you dropped it, it doesn't look like it would break too easily. As you can see the blue for the USB 3.0 port next to the 2.0 port. Next to that is the power input. And you can also use that port, I'm guessing, to flash the device if you needed to. HDMI connection. You can just plug it right into your television. Or you can use this extender. You just plug the HDMI part of the device into the end of this extender and then you just plug the other end into the television and you can hide this device behind your television or something like that if you're looking to keep it out of sight, keep it out of your way. This is a warning that lets you know how hot this device gets on the outside. The temperature varies depending on how much the device is being used. So just keep that in mind. You don't want to touch this device when you've been using it. Here's the five volt power adapter that you use to power the device. And this is a universal power adapter so that you'll be able to change it no matter which country you're in you'll get the correct pieces so that you can enjoy this device and plug the other end of the power cable into the power port of the device which is next to the USB ports and press the power button on the side of the device once the device is plugged in and powered up and connected to your television you have to press that power button to get it started and then connect the USB receiver for your keyboard into the device's USB port. And if you're using a micro SD card, you can go ahead and insert that too. And let's go ahead and check out some of the brochures that came in the box. This one tells you how to contact Azul Tech if you need any help. Just go to azultech.com. This is a quick start guide for the Azul Access Plus, which is the device we currently are showing you just explains how to get it hooked up and started and this is a great deal for those of you looking for a good VPN check out azultech.com forward slash VPN now let's go ahead and power up the device and check it out so I just sped through this this is the initial setup so you just go in and select your time and everything like that set up your Wi-Fi network and the setup is exactly the same. It has the virtual assistant for Windows and all that. Like I said, this is a 100% authentic copy of Windows and it works really well on this device. I was really impressed. 
So the first thing you want to do once you get the device running, we went ahead and restarted it so that we could start the device up normally without having to do the setup. So once the device restarts, here we are logging again. Now you can see Super at TechSmart Deals. It has our email registered and everything. So now when the device restarts again, when you see this little window on your screen, you want to make sure you update that because that's your Microsoft One Drive update. It's really important that you do that as part of the setup. So make sure you get that One Drive updated. It's really important. And once we did that, we went ahead and restarted again. And we also installed Kodi. This device is really cool. It gives you the ability to do everything that you can on a full computer, right on a small device, just about twice the size of the Fire Stick. So I'm just showing you what to do once you download an app like Kodi, for example, which is what we're downloading. Click at the bottom on that little file, and then you'll see download in the left panel. You just click on downloads and then click on Kodi or whichever other download, double left click. And then click yes to allow Kodi to set up. Just keep clicking next. Get the process started, the installation. Once again, click yes when you see that, allow Kodi to function on your system. Press finish and we'll go ahead and get Kodi launched. Again, you have to click on allow access once Kodi starts for the first time. You won't have to click that again. All right, now we'll go ahead and close Kodi. Since we just wanted to install it really quick, we'll program it later and I'll show you guys how it worked. Now let's go into the startup menu and then settings. And if you want to make any changes to the way the device looks, click on personalization and there's a few different settings in there that you can use to customize your device and change it up however you'd like. Now let's go back and I'll show you guys a more important section that you want to click on which is system and you'll be able to change the size of the text, the font on the device and you can sit far back away from your television and still see the letters on the screen. So that's really helpful. Set that however you guys would like. And you don't have to hit apply. For some reason, this device enables whatever choice you make. We'll go into storage right here and I'll show you guys something that you might find a little interesting. See right here, we're using, this is the internal storage. We've already used more than half of our storage before we've even done anything. That's because we're using Windows. Again, that authentic copy of Windows and everything that goes with the real Windows PC. It takes up about 15 to 20 gigabytes of storage just to get all the software installed correctly on the device. But if you go into the storage a little further where you see on your screen, this device gives you the ability to set whether you want to save files and programs or whatever you download to your device or to an external storage like your SD card or USB port, USB drive. So that's a very good choice and you get a lot more out of this device because you won't need much of your memory at all. But now moving on, Updating to the latest version of Windows 10 is very important. This is what you want to do more than anything else I've showed you. The most important thing is that you have the latest version running. So make sure you go into the startup menu and find that Windows 10 update assistant. You'll get a prompt eventually asking you to update. So you can either just be patient and keep restarting the device and it should show up within 20 minutes on your screen normally. If not, just go into the startup menu and go ahead and search for it the same way you do for anything else on Windows. So I just went back in there and I made the text a little bit smaller so that the whole window will fit on my screen and I'll see all the typing and all the selections so that I don't miss anything. So I'll let this update finish and we'll restart the device once again. Just click on next and gives you a few more options at the startup, your location settings and stuff like that. And I went ahead and installed Google Chrome because in my opinion, Google Chrome is the best browser you can use. So just follow the prompts if you wanna install Google Chrome. If not, you can just go ahead and use the Windows internet browser, it's up to you.
The next thing we did was run a benchmark test. So the benchmark test will really give you a good breakdown on the power of the device and its capabilities. Now I just sped through some of this and this is the results. The score is 655 and that's decent for a computer like this because this is just a PC stick. This isn't really a, you know, a super powerful computer. So just keep that in mind. It has all the power you'll need to surf the web, to stream HD, you know, all that kind of stuff, even download and play games. Now let's go ahead and launch Kodi and I've had a chance to really tune up Kodi and add all the best add-ons and stuff like that and I'm really impressed with how good this device works with Kodi. I'll go into the system info and show you just what I'm talking about. As you can see the Intel HD graphics card along with the 4 gigs of RAM is just everything you'll need to stream all the content you want using this device. So just keep that in mind. This device blows away any fire stick, I'll tell you that. You can't do anything with a fire stick, but with this device, there's not much you can't do. And I just sped through this. I went ahead and started up a popular TV show to see the quality. It was HD. It was great quality. No buffering, no wait time. It just started right up. All right, guys, this is Super from TechSmartDeals.com. This was the unboxing, setup, and full review of the Azul Access Plus PC Stick. If you're interested in purchasing the Azul Access Plus PC Stick, keyboard, or other accessories, please visit azultech.com. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and follow at Charged iOS and at TechSmartDeals. Please support us on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash charged iOS. For as little as $1 a month, we can get a lot more done at this channel and we can make videos at least once a week. We'll also be taking video suggestions from our supporters on Patreon. So don't forget to go over to patreon.com forward slash charged iOS to sign up. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.